Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. Last video we showed setting up our corral birth, mother birth, mother baby unit, mother baby unit for that pregnant sow that's getting ready to deliver. We're getting really close. We made a few modifications based on some, well, we made some modifications. Folks suggested those modifications and we really had already done them. So we, we really appreciate folks watching and giving us some feedback on stuff. So please continue to do that. Let's take a look and see the modifications that we've done, how that's worked out. Let's look at her, see how she's doing, and show you the signs of, uh, of an imminent farrowing. So hang out with us for just a few minutes. Okay, so after the last video, and between the time I shot the video and posted the video, we came back and added tarps, and a lot of you made suggestions that we needed to put something up, some plywood or some tin or tarps or something as a windbreak. And so we done that, but last night, right here, she absolutely tore, tore one of these tarps completely off and most of this one, but we still got a tarp on two sides over there. This is not, the front's not much of a windbreak, but um, the wind is really kind of coming from the direction where Sondra's standing right now. So, and then the barn's out there. So it, there is some windbreak, it, it certainly helps. Reuben, you need to get out of there. I don't know why Ruby wants to keep going in there. So um, this is about, we're about 48 hours now out from whenever I shot the last video. The cold weather came in yesterday. I got up yesterday morning about 3.30. It was 40 degrees and by six o'clock it was 20 and it just dropped all day. This morning it was zero when I got up. So the lights are still on. As you can see, she's, she's staying right underneath those lights and I think she's smart enough to figure out that that's where she where she needs to be in terms of warmth for these babies um, she's is she in full milk this morning well she's in full milk so we'll go over there in a minute and we'll show you exactly what that looks like when you see that you know that they're within 12 to 24 hours of giving birth so she's she's really really close the wind has died down. We don't have much wind today. We're not forecasted to have much wind today, but I think the temperature's gonna continue to be right around maybe 20 for the high. So it's, I mean, it's cold. It's just, it's miserably cold. I feel sorry for you folks that live in South Dakota and Montana and Utah and some of those mountain states, Colorado, where it's just so bitterly cold for, you know, weeks and weeks at a time. So. Let's, let's go over and I'm going to get Sondra to show you all what full milk looks like and uh, then you can gauge when your pig's in uh, getting ready to give birth. I'll pat on her a little bit. Get out of here. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. How you doing? Hey, Mama. So, when, when these girls are ready to give birth, they, they're usually very gentle. She likes, I mean, you know, she likes to be rubbed on. They like their belly rubbed on. So, you see that? Yeah. So you can see right there, that's one of her teats. She's probably got a little milk. Yeah, that is that is full expression of milk. And they're all like it. Let's do another one right there, yeah. Yeah, so she's full expression of milk right now. So she is, she gets massively close to, uh, to giving birth. We've done a couple of other little things. Right behind Sandra right there is a, uh, a pig board. We've put that up in case the piglets come out. If they take that turn, they'll run into that. We're afraid if they get out of the corral, they won't be able to get back in. And then right behind her is, ouch, hit myself on the head. Right behind Sondra here is the remainder of the roll of hay. So if they come out, they can't go that way. And it also creates a bumper. So hopefully if they come out, it will redirect them around, back around to the mama. When piglets are born, they have a natural instinct to turn and find the mama's belly and start nursing. So hopefully that's what they'll do. All right, piglet watch, Christmas. Today's, excuse me, today's Christmas Eve, so we may have us some Christmas babies after all. They're coming up, and up the hill and towards me. That centers it a little better. Does that get it over her belly? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's much better. The lights almost need to come this way a little bit, don't they? Well, but you yeah, know, if they if they come out and then they make the way towards her belly, then that's where the lights pointed. So hopefully that'll that should be the light for them. 
Okay, awesome. <laughs> All right, me and Eskimo Sally here. Uh, Sonner's going to kind of midwife this deal, so she'll sort of stay with her off and on, uh, or be with her off and on during the day today. We've got to go to my parents later today uh, because it's Christmas Eve. We always do Christmas with my folks uh, on Christmas Eve. So we've got that to do after a while. We've got farm chores to do, so um, and watch for this mama. So like I always say, please keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families, and we'll see you on the next video. Ain't that right, Eskimo Sally? That's it. All right.